Everybody is talking about what happened yesterday on the stock market. European markets are up. Asian markets are up this morning. What's going to happen around the, uh, around the New York? Let's find out. Markets around the globe soared uh, today following the Dow's biggest one-point gain ever. CBS News business correspondent Anthony Mason is at the New York Stock Exchange with more. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Harry. And we're expecting a new plan from the government this morning, uh, one that would be the boldest move yet by the Treasury and would have been considered a heresy only a few weeks ago. The drastic step to take a $250 billion ownership stake in the banks. This drastic step is designed to unlock the credit markets and restore confidence in the financial system. And it's just the latest twist in the government's $700 billion rescue program. The government will invest $250 billion of the $700 billion approved by Congress in private banks. Initially, half that money will go to nine major banks, including Citigroup, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Bank of New York, Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley. Bankers summoned to the Treasury Department yesterday were told they have no choice. The government will also temporarily insure the loans banks make to each other, and there will be unlimited government guarantees of non-interest-bearing bank deposits, typically business accounts. If you buy a stake in the banks, mm -hmm. what does that do? Economist Lakshman Achuthan. If the U.S. Treasury, if the U, uh, U.S. government is putting the full faith and credit of the United States behind a, an institution, a company, mm -hmm. uh, the company's not going to fail. So you don't have to worry about being paid back uh, money if you loan it to that institution. This morning, overseas markets surged. Japan's benchmark Nikkei made an astounding jump over 14 percent. There were substantial gains elsewhere in Asia and Europe. This follows yesterday's record rebound on Wall Street. The Dow snapped back from its worst week in history with its biggest one-day rally in history. The Dow surged more than 11 percent, the biggest single daily percentage gain in 75 years, although the Dow's still down 13 percent this month. It certainly feels good. The feeling of, of sheer panic and fear doesn't seem to be pervading the place quite the same. Anticipation of today's bank announcement was one reason the markets rallied so strongly yesterday, but traders say that that massive move yesterday was just more evidence of how volatile the stock market still is. In other words, Harry, we're not out of the woods on Wall Street yet. Anthony Mason down on Wall Street this morning. Thank you. Joining us now is Paul Krugman, who has just awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics. He's a professor at Princeton University and a columnist and blogger for The New York Times. Good morning and congratulations. Uh, good morning and thank you. First off, this infusion of $250 billion, some of it straight into America's biggest banks. Is this a good idea? Yes, it is. I mean, um, we're following the lead of the British who did this actually on a, relative to the size of their economy on an even bigger scale uh, yesterday. Uh, so this is, this is what a lot of economists have been calling for. The problem is the banks don't have enough capital to do their business. People don't trust them. This is what the doctor ordered as far as we can tell. Right. We've been listening for all these years to all these free marketeers who are saying get the regulation out, keep the government away, yet now all of a sudden these banks and the government are literally going to be business partners. Well, it's, it's an amazing thing. You know, the, 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 uh, the, the Bush administration has seized the commanding heights of the economy. Whoever thought that would happen. But it's necessary. You know, there are times the free markets are great, but sometimes you got to step in, and right now, you know, we're on the edge of the precipice, so you mm. need to do this. Yeah. Do you have a sense that in the days and weeks to come, the markets will be as volatile as we've seen in the last month? Sure, because the, the truth is no one, although most economists that I know think this is the right thing to do, no one is sure it will work. And there's going to be manic depressive markets as people wonder. And we don't have the evidence in yet about whether it will really work. So this was a leap of faith, literally, by the, by the Dow yesterday. And there may be uh, you know, moments of depression coming along, too. Mm. So there's a Band-Aid now. Maybe it, maybe it proves to be the, the, maybe the cure. On the end, though, we're starting to see mounting job loss. This is going to be passed. On down the economy in the months to come, how bad do you foresee this recession going? It looks like a nasty recession, even if this works, right? What we're talking about here is preventing the collapse of the banking system, which is collapse of the banking system is what turned uh, our, a recession in the 1930s into mm. the Great mm. Depression. So we're trying, but the recession is still, you know, barreling along. There's a lot of momentum behind it. This is not; these are not going to be good times. We're just trying to prevent them from being terrible times. Mm. You get uh, a prize of more than a million dollars when you win the Nobel. I'm just very curious if once you get that check, how will you invest it? 
Uh, people are at, that probably depends on where the markets are. I mean, uh, as uh, you know, as of uh, before the markets opened yesterday, I was thinking maybe stocks are looking cheap. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Paul Krugman, thank you very, very much for taking the time to speak with us. And again, congratulations. Thanks so much. Do appreciate it.